So here we are in Hanover, New Hampshire, walking around the fabled Occam Pond and all of the college buildings and fancy houses that go with it. It's a bucolic Sunday morning, a little cloudy but temperate. And what better time for a walk in a, what is described as a quiet college town. Of course, from the cars zooming by, you can see that that's not altogether true. That brand is potentially false. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that it's not all sidewalk. Here's a place called Dick's House. which I gather is either the present or former college infirmary, right next to another big white building that I think has something to do with the college. On the other side of the road, houses that back up to the pond, you can see large, fairly tony, recently remodeled or torn down and rebuilt. Most of the old classic architecture has been either ruined or radically changed. So whatever, time marches on. In the meantime, there's some trees, there's some shade. Up ahead, we've got some flowering crab trees which you can see there in the near distance in front of another tony house that used to be brick now it's brick that's been painted for reasons surpassing understanding so we're going to continue walking it's more of the same but it's certainly a pleasant place to pass a little while on a sunday morning and get in some steps. Here's another pretty upscale home with a nice tree in the front and a about four car garage in the back. So as you can imagine, this is not the area where the cynical traveler lives. This is where college professors, doctors, investment bankers, and others of that ilk have their second homes. Uh, housing prices on this street, backing up to the pond, something certainly north of a million dollars, some north of two million dollars. So if you've got a couple of mill laying around somewhere and you're looking for a tax dodge, buy a house here on Occam Pond in Hanover, New Hampshire. And if you decide that this looks like a lovely place to come and visit and take a walk, I think that would be great, but just don't do it for the next 30 minutes until I leave. Thank you.